Hello and welcome back. Welcome if you are new. Today is the first day of school, so I've got my coffee and we're going to get started. So we're already kind of changing it up this morning. I was going to make some baked donuts for the kiddos, but I think what we're going to do is make some banana bread or banana muffins um, because I have... <laughs> I have some bananas that are really ready to go today, so I'm going to go ahead and make that up for them. Um, two, of the three, two out of three kiddos are awake, so I'm just going to start prepping breakfast as they come down this morning. Okay, it's our first day of school, and we already had a little bit of... Um, rough housing and things that have gotten out of, not out of control, but I mean, yeah, maybe out of control with my littles. So we're going to dig in first um, into our child training Bible and um, just go through this. So I thought I'd let you sit in and see that part because this is life and it doesn't always come out perfect. And sometimes you need to stop and, um, and redirect. So in here we have different, uh, we're going to talk about fighting. Okay, so the way we're going to do that, oh no, Sorry. you're going to get in more trouble while we're disciplining for being in trouble. Turn away from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue. pursue it. What does that mean? So let's take it one step at a time. Turn away from evil. Uh, and do Turn away from evil, what does that mean? That means stop doing bad things. Mm -hmm. And what should we do instead? Good things. Yes. Seek peace. What does that mean? Seek. That means do... To look. To look. Look for peace and pursue. Pursue means chase it or go after it. So seek mm -hmm. peace. Seek okay. peace and try for that. Aim for that. So instead of arguing this morning and hitting and fighting, what should we have done? We have to seek peace. And what would be an example of seeking peace? How could you have done that? Uh, ooh, uh, 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 so, like, maybe uh, we could work together. That would, that would be an excellent thing to do, right? Let's see what else the Bible has to say. The Child Training Bible has different tabs and kind of areas for different topics. So there's things like anger and fighting, lying. There's also a big section for the gospel and just explaining that to your children. And the way it works is you go throughout, um, there are scriptures given and you go throughout the Bible and you highlight according to each one and they give you the scriptures for it. So for today, we were going over fighting and what the Bible has to say about that and living in peace. Um, it lines up up with uh, either the top, the side, or the bottom of your Bible, and then you go according to that color. So you can see in the picture here, anger is shown and there are yellow tabs. So all along the top there, those yellow tabs have to do with um, the scriptures and what the Bible says about anger. For us today, we were going over fighting, and so we were going through the pink tabs up on top. And then we're all going to sit down and do Bible study together. So we use Apologia's curriculum for Bible study right now. Um, my youngest is kind of just sitting with us and I give him some tracing cards to do or I give him the option of doing the coloring pages from this series. But we like to read it together um, or actually I'll read it to the kids and then they'll work in the workbooks that they have. And then that's usually when we're serving breakfast.
And then I give the kids their school boxes. So I've gone ahead and cleaned them out from last year and put in a couple of new goodies for them for this year, as well as their new curriculum. If you want to see the video where I go into this a little more in depth, I will link that for you. I'm up in the cards and then also in the description down below. So my kids are just opening it up and um, my oldest is finding his new pens and pencils and my youngest um, two are going through it also and just kind of seeing all their new curriculum and we just take some time to look it over together. And then we're going to fill out these really cute forms that I found online. Um, they're just these little interview sheets. They do have a sheet for every school year and they have a first day of school and last day of school interview. So I'm helping my two younger ones fill out their interviews for the first day of school. And on the other side of the table, my oldest is filling his out. And this year I'd like to be more intentional with calendar time with my littles. So we're trying it out on the first day here. We're just kind of going through the days of the week and what day of the month we're in. We're also going to go over yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And then um, we're going to go into our morning binders. Our morning binders are just some activities for my youngest um, that go through calendar type things. And then I'm going to try to do a little one-on-one -on -one time with my daughter. So I put my oldest um, to do his math. He wanted to start with that. And my youngest is doing some reading eggs at the same table with him. And then my daughter and I are going to sit down and go through her language arts. We are trying the sunlight curriculum this year. So we're just going to sit down at the table towards the back and kind of go through it together. Let's see, right? Sky Where's animals the shirt? And they're my sea hiding. They're camera shy. Okay, so what do you do on the sixth day? On the sixth day. After we finish our language arts with my daughter, I'm going to pop over to my son back at the other table and we're going to go through his spelling list, which is something new for us. Um, he is actually doing a program similar to Sunlight, but this is Bookshark. So here we're just taking our spelling test together and just kind of going over what we needed to do. My daughter came over and decided she was going to start on her math and my youngest son was still finishing up some reading egg lessons. All right, now how do we write it? Mary had eight. So you had one more. So how many candy canes did Sue have? One. No, Sue had one more. One more. So let's see, what do we have? Eight plus one. Yep, that's how we write it. Equals what? Nine. Yep, so Sue had how many? Not candy games. You had a lot of candy games, huh? Let's hope she shares. Okay, it's about five minutes to 12. Um, I did change my shirt because we had a little making the banana bread, a little accident splashage, if you will. Um, so what I ended up doing was making two kinds of banana bread. I made a protein banana bread for my husband and I, and then I just made like a chocolate chip banana bread for the kiddos. So it took a little bit longer and we got off to a later start, but it's okay. Um, every day is gonna look a little different. So we are still finishing up work, but I'm gonna start lunch um, so they can have lunch at least by 12.30. We were gonna have something different, but today we have so much leftovers from the weekend. We're just gonna kind of clear that out before um, before they go back. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through the leftovers, find out what the kiddos wanna eat and what I wanna eat, and we'll do we'll break for lunch. Um, as it stands, my daughter is gonna hold off on doing her second page of math. We're just having a little trouble getting back in the groove with that. So I think what we'll do is switch up and start with math um, for her in the beginning of the day or as one of our first subjects so that she can conquer that and be done with it and then move on to some other subjects that she 
is seeming to enjoy a little bit more now. So we're gonna leave that out on the table um, and come back to it probably after lunch. And then um, my oldest is wrapping up his reading and then he wants to take a look at his new biology during quiet time. So another thing that we're trying to implement today is um, breaking back into our quiet time routine. So let's make lunch and then get back to it. Okay, so it is about two o'clock now. Um, we did go down for quiet time after we had lunch. I was just feeling really tired and overwhelmed. I got on my phone, which I shouldn't have done, and um, just was looking over the news and things, and it just, it overwhelmed me, and I became very tired and emotional. So I gathered up my babies, and we just needed some quiet time and time to reset, and um, I needed some quiet time to pray and just kind of reset myself and recenter. So my um, oldest finished off some of his work he needed to do. He went ahead and looked at his biology DVD while we were doing quiet time and then read his intro to that. My daughter was listening to an audiobook and finishing up her math, so she got that done. Um, and now, um, oh, and my youngest was with me. I took him with me upstairs to the bed and we looked at some books that she saw quietly and um, just kind of lay down and relax together um, for a little bit. Um, my youngest and my oldest are going to go ahead and put on um, some TV for my youngest. He's been, he was asking for something during quiet time and my daughter is gonna get on reading eggs. Dinner tonight is gonna end up being leftovers because like I said, we still have a lot of leftovers from the weekend and I don't want it to go bad. So I don't really need to do much for dinner. Um, my body is kind of achy and sore. I had a really bad um, like knot and so I'm debating if I want to go ahead and do a workout today or if I want to take today for the rest day. So I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, I decided. I'm going to go ahead and have some pre-workout and then do an extra long stretch session because my body's kind of in knots. Um, and then go ahead and get my workout in because I really, one, wanted to put it off and not do it today, but that's a horrible way to start a Monday. Also, or start the week. Um, also, I know that it will help mentally um, when I work out. Very excited about his movie. Um, I think it'll help mentally too, to kind of just release some of that. So that's what's next on the agenda. Okay, so I realize I'm a mess, but that's what happens. Um, I didn't want you to think it's always all easy peasy when we come work out. I have to work hard to get these workouts in. Um, you saw earlier, I just did not want to do it, wasn't feeling it. It's really deep in my emotions. Um, what do you call that, an impasse? I don't know. I think I'm one of those though, <laughs> where you just take all the feelings in deeply. And I know right now in this world, it's crazy hard not to. Um, but during the workout, so I just have my two littles here. My oldest is upstairs FaceTiming with a friend. But we had a call for timeout, so I had to stop in the middle of one of my supersets and sit my littles down for a five minute timeout because it got quickly out of control. So that happens a lot. We have to not, it happens almost every workout, honestly. We have to stop, bring the level down a little bit, and then get back to it. I am hoping that later today we can go outside for a walk or something. Um, just to get out for a little bit more. We did take our pictures outside, so we were outside for a little bit, but I'd love to get out a little bit more before the sun goes down. So I'm on the treadmill, I'm running out of breath. I'm gonna wrap this up, and then we're gonna go upstairs. After the workout, we came upstairs and we had just kind of some free time and play time and TV time, all the times until it was dinner time. Um, thanks so much for joining us today for our first day of school. As you can see, every day is just a little bit different. Um, it's going to continue on this way. We're just hoping to set some rhythms and routines of our school day. But I really appreciate you watching and sharing this day with us. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from us, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for What's your um, What do you think is going to be your favorite new curriculum? Or do you have one yet? Can you tell? Uh, I'm thinking of uh, probably English arts, surprisingly. Language it, arts? Language arts, because usually, usually I'm not a fan of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but now I'm like pretty hooked. Ooh, why? How about you, girlfriend? Is this is yours. Great. You think it was great? Yeah, yes, that's I think my, my new favorite. reading uh -huh. is my favorite. Your new reading comprehension or your new um, 
your new reading program that we do with the Bible and the um, the writing. I think uh, or both. the reading, both. It's both. Both? You like both? I'm glad you like it. So both of you like your new language arts programs we got, huh? Your, both of your language arts programs are pretty similar, the companies. But well, we can get into that later. How about you, little man? I want chips. You want chips? <laughs>